Assalamu alaikum. Today I Raja Kamran and my group members Muhammad Jahazeb and Suheb Abid are going to present on satellite link budget analysis. Starting with the definition. A link budget is actually simple addition and subtraction of gains and losses within an RF link. Real world performances are quite different from the theoretical results. Link budget analysis helps us know the practical performances of the system. Link budget analysis is an important part of satellite communications to ensure a feasible and successful implementation of the satellite communication link. Due to high cost of both space segment and ground station equipment, it is imperative that satellite communication links are carefully designed to optimize resources. There are many factors that need to be considered for obtaining a satellite link budget. Following are some of the things we need. The saturated EIRP of the transponder, the satellite G over T figure, satellite transponder bandwidth, latitude, longitude of the uplink, downlink earth station, planned data or information rate, modulation type BPSK or QPSK, uplink and downlink frequencies, uplink and downlink antenna sizes, uplink and downlink antenna efficiency, link budget. Hi, I am Mohammad Janzeb and I will continue the topic with first briefing the general scheme of a satellite system. Generally, the satellite system has two parts, the transponder and the support system. Transponder deals with the uplink and downlink transfer of energy, the required modulation, demodulation and filtering schemes. The support system is the sum of propulsion system, tracking system, telemetry and command system. The power required for the operation of satellite is supplied by the solar panel as shown in this figure. Now we will see the step by step procedure for the detailed calculation criteria for the satellite link budget. The uplink power loss depends upon the frequency of the ground station transmitter. For C band, the uplink frequency is the order of 6 GHz. The calculation is made by using this formula. Here, D is the distance between the satellite and ground station, F is the frequency, and C is the velocity of light. To calculate the transmit antenna gain, we need to have the diameter of the parabolic reflector antenna, antenna efficiency. Antenna efficiency is the ratio of input power to the radiated power of the antenna. It is denoted by H. The value of H lies between 0.55 to 0.73. The isotropic power gain of the antenna is defined as the power density in the maximum direction denoted here by PD to the power density achieved by 100% efficient isotropic radiator. It depends on the following. Here, transmitter power per carrier is the power gain to the antenna at the earth station to radiate power. Transmitter feeder loss or the losses that occur in the connection between transmitter and the transmitter power. Such losses will occur in the connecting waveguide filters and couplers. Antenna pointing loss is the loss due to improper alignment of ground station and satellite antenna. Here we can say this, this equation is transmitter EIRP equal to 10 log of transmitter power per carrier minus transmitter feeder loss plus transmitter antenna gain minus antenna pointing loss. Now rainfall results in the termination of radio waves by scattering and absorption of energy from the waves resulting in the uplink rain attenuation. The rain attenuation increases with the increasing frequency and is worse at Q KU band compared to C bands. Satellite G by T ratio is the figure of merit. G over T ratio is the ratio of gain of the satellite to the thermal noise temperature of the satellite. G by T ratio depends on the satellite components. Uplink carrier to noise ratio is calculated as transmitted EIRP minus uplink power loss plus uplink rain attenuation plus satellite GYT plus 228.6 dB. Hi, this is Sohib and I will continue the topic. Satellite operating bandwidth. It depends upon the input data rate, link overhead factor, bits per symbol and FEC rate coding. Input data rate is the actual message signals per second. 
Link overhead factor represents additional transmitting delay between message bits to avoid collision or intersymbol interference of message bits. Bits per symbol is defined as the number of symbols transmitted per bit. FEC or forward error collection technique enables the receiver to both detect and correct errors without needing to inform the transmitter. The formulas used are shown here. Downlink path loss. It depends upon the downlink frequency and distance between satellite and ground station. Downlink frequency is frequency at which satellite is communicating with ground station. For C band, downlink frequency is in the order of 4 GHz and it is 12 GHz for KU band. It is calculated as receiver G over T. It depends upon the antenna elevation angle, antenna noise temperature, increase in antenna noise due to rain and LNA noise temperature. Antenna elevation angle affects the antenna noise temperature. Antenna noise temperature decreases with increase of elevation angle. Antenna noise temperature is sum of all noise sources at antenna. System noise temperature is sum of all noise temperatures at receiving antenna. After obtaining required parameters stated above, formulas shown here are used for final calculation of G over T. Link margin depends upon the downlink drain attenuation, receiver antenna pointing loss, signal or noise ratio required for bit error rate of 1 over 10 raised to the power 7, overall downlink carrier over noise ratio. The ideal situation is to have the earth station and satellite antennas aligned for maximum gain. There are two possible sources of off-axis loss, which are satellite and the earth station. The off-axis losses at earth station is referred as antenna pointing loss. Link, mar link margin is the ratio of available and required signal to noise ratio for bit error rate of 1 over 10 is to the power 7. There are many tools available for calculation of satellite link budgets and many companies provide softwares for this. As the cost of operation of satellite is quite high and it has a limited lifespan, so only after the careful calculation of link budget an investor can invest in the program. The calculations are helpful in determining the profit and efficiency of satellite. Thank you.